Okay. We present to you an unboxing of vegetables from Misfits Market. Da da da. Um. Oh, the suspense of opening the box with child scissors. <laughs> Not edible. It says that? No. That's good. Goodness. It's pretty. Kale! Cabbage. I, I'm sorry. Cucumber! Lots! And lots! Oh, that is the zucchini. And lots! And lots of pears! It should be Bosque and Bartlett pears. Another cucumber! Those are What? I might end it up with bulk. Yeah, that's the zucchini. Right there next to our sugar. Oh, oh is that is celery root, and we need to figure out what to do with it. Is this a, another pear? That's uh, is that the Bartlett pear? Or is that the Bosque pear? I think that would be the Bosque pear. I don't know. Tater. Oh. They have mangoes. <laughs> Now you have mangoes. <laughs> Jason's oh. holding on to his mushrooms. For dear life. Roma tomatoes. Oh, all right. More Roma tomatoes. Another mango. How is it that I have never seen a mango? Orange. Grapefruit. <laughs> Orange. What is that? Beetroot? I don't know. Is it a beet? I think so. Is, there should be beets. Or maybe a radish. I don't remember. Oh. Um, a half. Oh. Half. What did they bust? Yeah, it must have bust. Because it was together. cold or got schmucked? No. It was... You see, I do have cucumbers and zucchinis. A... And a schmucked zucchini. There's a lot of pears in here. These people like pears. Look at the itty bitty pears. Ooh, more potatoes. I'm sorry. Bad red potatoes do not have feelings because they are objects that we eat. <laughs> That's a beat. <laughs> Definitely a beat. There's pears and more pears. So many pears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Please tell me that's all the pears. All the pears. And five more oranges. Or clementines or whatever they are. And the cubiata. Caviar. We're gonna try it. Never tried it before. Whole grain lump fish. That sounds appetizing. <laughs> so we got our first Misfits Market box today, and I thought I would share my opinion, first impressions. So when you, um, and I'll back up. When you order online, I was all excited. I got a promo code from a friend, and it got in there, and then you have to prepay. And so you don't know what you're going to be able to pick when you are prepaying for your box. You don't know what's going to be available. Okay, figure I could probably use about anything. And then you, um, depending on when you pick your delivery date, you might not get to pick your stuff right away. So I didn't. I had to wait a few days, which was a little disappointing because I wanted to get in there and see what there was. And then um, I got an email. Or they told me when I could come back and order the stuff I wanted. And I got an email at that time to log in and get stuff. And my friend had said, get on there as soon as you can because stuff will disappear and sell out. So I did. I got in there and what I want. And then Owen's already starting to make some things with it. Um, so then you get in there and they have different categories. And you have to pick um, however many. Like pick six from this group. Pick this six from this group. And you cannot pick multiples of the same thing within the group. And then you have the option to add things on, which we happen to add on some mushrooms and some caviar. It was just a random. I said, Jason, you want to try caviar? And he's like, yeah. Tastes like and so fish. we did. But it was cheap. 
it was three some dollar caviar. So um, I thought I would show you what I got and kind of what I'm thinking about it. Okay, so as I was kind of curious how it was going to be delivered, um, because I knew we would be home, so it comes insulated, if you will, and then everything was just kind of uh, tossed in there. Um, I knew we would be home. I didn't know what would happen living in a cold climate in Wisconsin, you know, if it was sitting on my step, but I knew we'd be home, Look, and we're rearranging our baking goods. So there's all our sugar, and here's our vegetables. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the looks of everything. Um, there's the mushrooms, the mangoes. We got two of them. Um, the kids already busted into one of them and they thought it was delicious. I was able to pick some things I'd never tried before. This is a celery root and I think it goes in like stews and stuff. I had looked it up before I clicked, uh, you know, um, what to use it for before I ordered it. And so then, so pears. Um, I got to a point in one of the categories that I didn't really necessarily want anything else. And so um, I clicked pears because I knew we would eat pears. And I thought I could also bake something with them. Which is good because, look, I got a whole bunch so of these many pears. pears. And then um, these pears will probably just eat fresh. I also ordered potatoes, regular potatoes. Um, beets. I love beets. And this is it. I got one single beet. Um, I was really hoping they would have had golden beets for me to pick from because our grocery stores never have them. Um, pick some cucumbers. There's another one Owen's already cooking with. Some oranges. Belle had one some grapefruits. Um, some red potatoes. And then some zucchini. And look, I think this is because it was so cold that it busted. Um, we also got a watermelon radish. A watermelon radish, which that is another thing I'm super excited to see and taste. Um, and then this. Oh, yes. Cabbage. Love cabbage. The one thing I'm truly disappointed in is the Roma tomatoes. Um, I think they, well, they're first of all clearly not ripe, and I don't know if they're going to ripen, but they, I think they also froze. And so that would be a thought to not to get something like that, um, which is what I think happened to the zucchini too. You know what's really helpful when you're trying to make a video is to hit record. Um, my impression, so-so. I'm kind of curious about trying again. Um, had I gone to the grocery store, I'm not sure what my actual cost of this would have been. So actually for, because I had a half off code, um, this was probably pretty good. And most of it, if not all of it is organic. Um, so that's cool. I was able to pick some things that I can't get here and also to try a variety of things that maybe we've never tried before. And at the same time, um, kind of ended up with a lot of things that would be easily accessible and I'm not sure on price comparison. So I think those would all be things to note um, as far as what you're picking, uh, what your opportunities are, because you don't necessarily get a say in that and that's going to change. So those are a few thoughts worth trying probably give it another try. They have a full box, which is what this was, and they have a half box. And so I don't know if a half box is you get to pick as many things and only get half as much, or you only pick half as many things. Um, and then you can pick, it is a subscription, so you can pick um, weekly or every other week. And I picked every other week because I didn't know what to expect and I didn't want more coming if I didn't know what was going to happen. So, and then obviously you can cancel it and not continue with it whenever you want. So, those are a few of my thoughts. We'll um, see how a few of these things we've never had taste. Right, so part of our Misfits Market box was black caviar. Amanda asked if I wanted to try it. I'm um, very nervous. I once said that I tried caviar, but I lied. <laughs> there was our foreign exchange student in high school at her graduation party, and it looked so gross I couldn't do it, but she really wanted me to try it, so I told her I did, and I did it. Oh so I'm going to try caviar now. So this is for her? This is for Amanda. No. <laughs> yeah. really to. So it comes in a little container like this. Um, this is whole grain lump fish. I'm not really sure what the whole grain means because even reading the box, there's not really much about whole grain here. 
Um, so anyway, we're going to try it with crackers, even though it says to use it with uh, on a cocktail blinini, which I don't know what that is, with a dab of creme fraiche topped with scallions it's for French. joy. Flat. I think you should have talked to your forty. French, <laughs> French, just let it be. So we're going to try it. This is what it looks like, uh, folks. It's oh, it's just, pretty. It's very pretty. I want to smell it. So Jerry and oh, I yeah, smell it. Oh, yeah, does it smell like fish? Yeah, you can um, smell it. Smell it. Not, it doesn't really have a smell to if me. If it wants to smell no, it. That smells like fish. One. A li like maybe fish. a little bit of fish smell. Maybe a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what you talking about? That smells like fish. I think it's gonna be salty. Well, it, yeah. it has you salt as its second ingredient, I believe. So but we're gonna take a little bit to start with. We're That's like a lot. Big. That's a little bit. I don't really know the etiquette of caviar. Uh, well, it's supposed to be on a bolognese with <laughs> fish, 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 food. <laughs> Caviar for it's some very reason. salty. It tastes like, it tastes like, like a lake. Well, it was not expensive caviar, so no, it, it might be worth trying something different. I mean, it's not terrible. It just is uh, very fish. The puppies are willing to try. You want to try? Want to try to give me? When I see it, I think beads. <laughs> I think beads. Uh, I think beads going down my throat. Well, at least you're oh. old enough not to eat beads. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I got to try it plain. Uh, Don't you see what lake tastes like? I want to, but I'm terrified. Do it. Uh, I am never going to get myself. It's like a cracker. It's not. Here you go, Jerry. I just like fish. <laughs> Oh, you're in already. Like you're, you're tough. We're going on Asheral. You I, like it, Em? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I like fish. So much fish. Oh, yep. There's the lake, Jerry. There's the lake. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. No. Not bad. Oh, that is Tastes terrible. like a mixture of seaweed and sushi. <laughs> Enjoy that. I like both of them. So there we go. No. <laughs> that, that